Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick Dragon's Dogma 2 guide. And in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the quest called A New God's Way. Now, in this quest, you will need to actually take down a dragon, and you're going to have to make it up to the shrine. Now, the shrine is not that hard to get to. You just follow the map. There will be a ton of enemies along the way to take down, so it might take a little bit of time. But just walk in between those two towns, and you will make it up to the tower. Now, once you get to the tower, that's when things get a little bit confusing. The rest of the quest is pretty straightforward. You just have to walk to that location and take out the enemies that are in your way. However, once you do get to the top of this tower, I do suggest you're going to go ahead and use this campfire and restock up on your supplies as you are going to be going into a pretty serious boss fight. And I'm not going to spoil anything. At this point, you probably already know about the boss and everything like that if you're watching this video. So I will be showing you guys how you can actually take down this boss very, very easily. So if for whatever reason you're struggling on this boss because maybe you're just a lower level or you're just having difficulty taking him down because you just weren't ready for the fight, I'll show you guys how you can take down the boss extremely easy. Now, there's actually a safe spot you can use. You may want to switch your vocation for this because if you're using like an up close, like a sword or something like that, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to use the safe spot. So you're going to want to be using some sort of range class, whether it's the mage or the archer. And then I'll show you guys where you can actually stand so that you don't take any damage during this fight. So once you guys do get up to the top of the tower, there are going to be a few secret walls you have to break through. So if you guys are stuck, not sure where to go, I'll show you guys the exact route. So anytime you see one of these walls, it doesn't matter if it's during this mission in a dungeon. Just anytime you see a wall that looks like this, you can actually go ahead and use your spells to break through. So just keep that in mind anytime you're playing the game, if you didn't know that. This can actually help you to access some secret areas. Now, I just ended up fighting those enemies and heading upstairs, but you'll notice that there's actually a few false walls that you can break through. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you guys the location of like three or four chests that I opened, so you guys can go ahead and open these up as well, and then we will go and fight the dragon. Now, the dragon is a pretty long fight if you use this method, but you won't have to worry about taking damage or anything like that. And at one point, I was even able to actually completely walk away from my uh, console and not take any damage because the spot is actually that safe which is pretty insane. So if you're struggling with this or you just don't want to deal with it, there is a way to beat this without really having to try too hard. So once you come into this room, you'll actually get an upgraded staff. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this chest really quick because you will get an upgraded staff, which will help you guys quite a bit if you're using the mage class. Now, once you guys have gotten that, there's actually another item you can pick up back here. And then from there, you're just going to go ahead and start the fight. Now you'll notice once you get into this room, that there is this little awning here and there's a bunch of different pillars as well now keep in mind guys you are going to be fighting the dragon so he's going to have a fire attack which he's going to so he's going to slam down on the ground and he's going to blast fire all over the place now the best way to actually fight the dragon is just to always stay behind an object and that's the reason why i'm using the mage class because you're able to even though you're standing behind an object and not directly looking at the enemies you're still able to cast your spells which allows you guys to deal damage while staying in a safe spot so when you come up the stairs to the boss fight, you're going to notice that there's all these different pillars and there's actually an awning here as well. Now this is the spot you're going to want to stand in, just basically anywhere inside of this small room. Now the reason for this is because he can't blast you with the fire attacks, he can't come in and like claw you or anything like that. And then on top of that, he can't fly up in the air and slam down on you either, making this the best spot to stand in and so that you guys can get this fight done. Now this definitely did take like a lot of time, but... Because my character was a little bit under level when I got here and I didn't have the right gear on, I just didn't really feel like having to run back, reset up everything, and level up my character and all that just to be able to beat this boss fight. So I wanted to show you guys the safe spot. Now, any spells will work, but this dragon is weak to lightning damage, so lightning bolt attacks are going to do the most. And there's even another spell uh, called Decanter. What this spell does is it actually siphons the health from the enemies and it puts it back into your character. But the best thing about this spell is that you don't have to keep continuously casting it. Once you activate the spell, it will just remain activated until you take damage. So if you want to, you can actually come in here. And if you're going to use this method, I, I suggest standing a little bit further back. You're going to want to stand like in the staircase when you do this. But either way, guys, you can go ahead and activate the decanter spell. And you can literally just stand there, walk away, and come back when the fight is over, which is pretty insane. Now, you can use this method to fight just about any uh, monster in the game. Find a safe spot to get into and use the decanter spell. And you can pretty much just stand there and AFK most of the fights in the game. Now, this decanter spell won't work on all of the enemies. There's certain enemies that are immune to it. But for this fight, that's all that matters is that you can use it. Now, occasionally, as you guys can see, although this is a safe spot, uh, the fire, the attack occasionally can come in if the 
situation is perfect. He can get a little bit of damage in on you. And that's why I was saying, if you're going to go completely AFK for this fight, because you don't want to stand there for like the full 20 minutes, you will want to back up and stand in the staircase. So if you stand back here in the staircase, he actually can't hit you at all, but you can still siphon his health down. So if you're going to go for the full AFK method, just simply stand here and you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Now, this did take me about like 20 to 25 minutes to beat him, but it was like really stress-free. I didn't stay in the safe spot the entire time. Uh, after a while, I ended up running out and just dealing damage to him normally. But I wanted to make this guy to show you guys how you can get this done because I know this is one of the hardest bosses in the game up until this point. So hopefully it does help you guys to continue on through the story. Other than that, though, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.